Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Today, we're gonna see why the hell Regina was trying to feed the monkey to her tiger. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. I got, it's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful, you know. Uh, you should see it. Spangles. Spangles? Sp spangles? You should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney! Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back from me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Yeah, sure. Uh... Gladly. Leave it all to us! Guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? I guess. Hi, do you want to see a picture of your dead dad? Here. No, where is it? Yeah, there you go. Take a look at this. Nick! You can't show her that picture! Ouch. Yeah, that would be a bit insensitive of me. Huh? Show me! Show me! Show me! Uh, <laughs> uh, we sh did we show you this stuff? I don't really know. Uh, take a look at this, though. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket. Huh, I guess I noticed it when it was around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Okay, so... Something... So she... She takes care of Acro and he has a grudge against her? For the most part, like, she brings him her, his food and takes out his trash and shit like that. I mean, obviously, she might be viewing it more of a job, or she might even just be half-assing it, but he definitely does hold a grudge against her at some po point or other. And that's when you realize this paper was in your pocket when you brought Acura stuff. Yeah, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wonder if the person was lo who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it in the bill on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Ah, so it was Regina who put that up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Okay. A bust? There's no denying it. Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. She's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I don't know why, but that one actually tickled me pink. That's Pepper, isn't it? Hey, at least you know what Pepper is. Akru didn't have any idea what the hell it was. From the cafeteria. Huh. It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing it in there. Huh. So this was this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. Okay. Box? What about this? Can you tell me? Uh, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Oh, I know. Really? Me yeah, okay. Uh, autopsy? No. No, no, go back there. Muggy! He just loves to cause nothing but... Just, he just loves to cause nothing but trouble, that cute little monkey. But don't you think using a tiger to scare him is a bit much? Huh, why is that? Did you really have to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. Regent's just a little kitten. I've seen plenty of kittens, and that's no kitten. Uh, map? Nope. Of course she wouldn't know anything about the circus. She just lives here. Broken bottle? Nope. Max, yeah. I think we showed her some of this stuff already. 
or actually probably all of it. We'll go over the profiles in a second, and that's Max Hat. Um, sure, let's go to profiles. I'm pretty sure we showed everything up to her, right? No, we probably showed her her dad, right? And probably Mo. He's been a kid for- yeah, okay, we definitely showed you Mo. Acro! Ah, uh -huh, it's Acro! Is he in his room today? Yeah, he is. We just came back from meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Acro's so incredible, especially on the trapeze. Trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it! I really want to see him up there again. Acro the Acrobat! That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to uh, like Acro just fine. Yeah. Okay, so she got the slip in her paper... No, she got the slip in her pocket when she visited Acro. So I'm assuming Acro slipped it into her pocket? Okay. I mean, that's the only assumption we can have right now, because... She didn't mention visiting anyone else. She said she went to Acro's to take out his trash and give him his breakfast. And then on the way back, she noticed she had a thing in her pocket. And then she... Since she's not a murderer, she was like, clearly it's not for me, so I gotta put it on the bulletin board. I, I guess you're not wrong, right? Um... <laughs> right. Is there... <sighs> cafeteria? Oh, it's new. The pepper is there. You can see it right on the table. Something smells fantastic! So we know it can't be Mo. Wait! I know what it is! It's burgers! Oh, God. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria! Huh, it smells so good in here! And those burgers look great! She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. She is a crazed burger monster! She doesn't shut up about them! My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce! They're absolutely irresistible anyone with a hankering for a burger! One bite will send you into a hamburger heaven! I bet! I can tell by the smell! Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must be have some kind of special power. Like crack. Hi, uh, Big Berry Circus. Now that Ringmaster's gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I've thought about in the past two days. Every and Lud Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he be when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was upset? Yeah, he was. Anyways, I gave him some thought. Maybe I sh Oh my god. Oh, is that where this is going? He was trying to kill Regina? But because Regina's a fucking idiot, she posted it on the bulletin board? And then the father saw it? And... and went there? Maybe? Is that... is that Quinn the murderer? Dude, for, I actually kind of thought it was either gonna be Ben or Mo at some point. Anyways, maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. Yeah, smart idea. You suck! I don't think I was trying to... trying on the Ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy. You know. What is he talking about? The ringmaster? Get over it? What? Get over what tragedy, Mo? The ringmaster! Is that not what we're talking about? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. You must be the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. So, okay, so there's another tragedy around here? Okay, and it's probably not the lion, right? 
that is kind of tragic, but still. Um, why would you kill a lion? It's just mean. And just cruel. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. We haven't heard anything about a tragedy. But, if I'm going to assume that Acker was trying to kill Regina, I'm going to assume it's something that Regina did. Probably by accident, because she's not that there. And it involved Acro? Oh my god, did Regina cause Acro to loot, like, to become paralyzed, and that's why she, he was going to get revenge on her? No, why would you say murderer? Did Regina kill someone? I can picture that. That'd be like kind of a horror story s story, though. Regina just goes up to someone she truly cares about and loves, like, you'll make a great star! And just, like, shoots him. <laughs> uh. Ding, ding, ding! Correct the mundo! Doesn't mean he. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo. I mean, no disrespect, but you're an awful clown. But are you also lying to me? Yeah! No, not at all! What makes you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. I did it? Mo, I'm right, aren't I? The clown has psyche locks. Only two, though. Huh, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just an accident, little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Big pants don't hide staying stog. Okay. Six months ago, huh? So that is that is kind of corresponding with what I was just talking about, though. Well, we can see what the first part is, anyways. Oh, we should probably show him the slip, too. Get over it. Mo, please, tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on in this circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat, let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. I'm not. Actually, to be fair, I probably am. I don't know why, but... At some point... Like, to be fair, I stopped eating chicken for a while, too. Because I, I read somewhere, and clearly was correct, that... Like, if you eat too much chicken, it cause like, certain people to have, like, uh, eczema outbreaks. So I stopped eating chicken, and my eczema went away on my leg. Which was great. But then... <laughs> anytime I eat, like, beef, my it just would just make me have an upset stomach. So I kind of stayed away from beef now. And I eat mostly chicken. My eczema has come back, unfortunately, but I can eat things without feeling like I'm gonna throw up. Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea what happened back then. No, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would? Cause? Cause. Cause. Regina. What about this? Looks tasty. You mother. She is 16 year old. You. What? You know the burgers. Looks like I shot a blank on that attempt. Uh, okay. Cause of the accident. So... <sighs> I don't... I don't know? Could be this? You said the cause of the accident. So, monkey... Box had this pepper in it. Maybe the pepper? What about this? No. Okay. 
Mon monkey? Okay. Uh, yeah, for some reason I thought I was already there. Monkey. No. The cause of the accident. Is it Max? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna lose all my health. Um. Let's just back out for now. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather more, some more clues before I try again. Okay. Um. Anything about this? Let's see here. To the murderer. That's far from polite. Where did you get the rest of the note from? anyways? Maybe it'd be best if I didn't tell Mo where we found it. Don't worry about it, Mo. I didn't need to worry about it. You shouldn't have shown it to me. All right. That's fair. Acro? He's always a very, been a very private guy. When he came here, he was about, he was about 10 years old. We had just started the very, very big circus around the time that Russell took him in. There are really hard memories to bring up. Acker was so happy to have joined the circus. He was especially grateful to the, the ringmaster. I'm sure he was grateful to you, too. Huh? He's grateful to me, too? Ah, shucks. Yeah, they're exaggerating. He's fidgeting around so much, you can tell he's embarrassed. Uh, all right. I guess we're done here. I right, don't point that at me. It's a dangerous weapon. Back here for a second, just to see if anything's new. And then entrance. I, uh, this? No. Uh, acro? Really? Man, F you, dog. I guess let's go back to the office. So, what do you think of this, Maya? What about this? Um, yeah, sorry, you got nothing. I'm trying to think of a joke or something. Good job, Maya. I'm glad I pay you. Not really important, is it? I mean, it kind of is. Alright, goodbye. I guess we'll go to the detention center? We must have taken Max in for questioning again. There really isn't anything that we need to ask him right now, anyways. You're right, I guess. Alright, let's go then. Really? Dog, can you believe this shit? I wonder if he's bored. He doesn't even try to glance over this way. It's like he doesn't exist at all. Uh... Are you telling me we have to unlock one of these? Uh, that's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria in the morning. In the morning, yeah, okay, we already showed you this. In the cafeteria. Okay. So you were trying to kill Regina. But who would... Did you... Maybe it was the lion. Did Regina get the lion killed somehow? So we actually have to unlock something? Oh, no, never mind. We're in Mo's room. There's something new here. Huh, Mo's not here. Yeah, I know. We, he's in the cafeteria. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Nick, it's money. Oh, that's... That's what... That's what Spangles are? That's not right. Maybe... No, one second. I kind of thought they were going to be like frilly things. It's time for Google with Kronos. They're going to come in here and we're just going to be like, yo, Google. Erase this from my history. But also, what are Spangles? A uh, sanguine, a small disc shape. Uh, wait, it says a sanguine, a small disc shape, shiny bead. So they're bedazzles? Okay. I guess they're just bedazzles. Sure. The monkey's holding something. 
That's it! That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Time to kill the monkey! Alright, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style! Ooh, ooh, scratch, scratch! Ooh! Ooh, ooh! Yes! Ah! I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I didn't. Re I really did. Nick, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see. Let me see. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. <laughs> What's the matter? Doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. A shiny spangled dress is not my size at all. All right, time to go back to Regina, I guess. You're not Regina. Hi, Regina. I got your spangled vest. Here you go, Regina! <laughs> Yay! Thank you! You really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney! Blush? It's... it's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. If you say so. Hey, Regina! My costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. The lions? L Leons? You know, the lions you told us about. Oh. The one that someone killed. Was it a baby lion? You killed a baby lion? You monsters! Leon. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know. Gah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head in his mouth. Uh-huh. Well, wait, you put your head into the lion's mouth? I sure did! The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They always started screaming! You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyway... What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit something during practice. R R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem my that was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. After biting a performer, okay. Did he bite Acro? And that's how he was paralyzed? The timing seems right. But why lie? Well. That doesn't make sense, though. There's gotta be more to it. Right? Because if my theory of Acro truck. You're down here? Okay. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring high stuff out. Like the thing I just told you about. Oh my god. Alright. So, we have reached the conclusion that Acro has a thing out for Regina, and not the thing like everyone else has, where they just want to get into her pants, but he, like, wants to kill her, maybe? If we are to jump to that conclusion by him slipping, slipping that thing into Regina's pocket... Well, you want to, like, it seemed like... How you do that, though? Because I think it was like two episodes ago or last episode, like, what did the murderer actually wear, like, the bust of uh, Max to try to hide his identity? But if he is legitimately in a wheelchair, which he's gone to the hospital for rehab, how the hell did he kill the ringmaster? And not know it was the ringmaster. Yeah, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense now that I say it out loud. 
if he was trying to kill Regina... But he's paralyzed. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time, though. Have a great day, and I'll see you then!